Welcome back. We have new data in regards to the sales of automobiles. And what we're going to see in particular is the sale of heavyweight trucks has declined quite dramatically. And we're going to tell you exactly why that's so important. We can see here overall uh, the red histogram bar. These are motor vehicle retail sales of heavyweight trucks. That's in red. That has declined over several months now. The blue histogram bars are total vehicle sales on a year-over-year -year basis, and the white histogram bars are lightweight vehicles and lightweight trucks. And what we can see is that the red histogram bar, the heavyweight trucks, is the lowest low we've seen in quite a while. Uh, total vehicle sales could continue to hang in negative territory as well. In particular, we see 5.4% increase on a year-over-year -year basis for heavyweight truck sales. That's the lowest low we've seen in a while. Negative territory in overall vehicle sales and the lightweight cars and trucks also negative, really failing to make any kind of progress at all. Now, total vehicle sales here, this is reported in millions of units. We can see in 2006, 18, 20 million units versus the white line S&P 500. When we had the 2008 financial recession, both indices went down to a level around 10 million sales. Uh, and then, of course, the recovery. But since the pandemic, we have failed to regain those former pre-pandemic highs in total vehicle sales. The same holds true for heavyweight truck sales as well. Half a million units in 2006, the drop in 08. Uh, actually, a little bit better in 2019, but since then, we failed to recover back up to pre-pandemic levels. And then, of course, automobiles and light truck sales, 20 million units in 2006, financial recession. Uh, we hit highs not as high as we were in 2006, only about 16 million sales. But since then, fail to recover to pre-pandemic levels. We can consider the correlations now. We have over 20 years of data, so this is pretty significant. We have a 10% correlation between total vehicle sales and the S&P 500. Now, 10% correlation really means no connection. A 100% correlation means a perfect relationship. When one index goes up one point, the other also goes up by one point. 100% uh, negative correlation, a perfect opposite correlation. In this case, 10% total vehicle sales, 10% correlation, no connection. Heavyweight truck sales, 56% correlation. Now, this is significant. This means for the vast majority of the time when we see strength in the stock market and strength in the economy, we also see strength in the sales of heavyweight trucks. It's logical. Heavyweight trucks are used almost exclusively for shipping, construction, home builders, you know, these type of activities that are conducive for economic growth. Automobiles and light truck sales, 8% correlation, no connection there. Now we see heavy trucks as a percentage of total sales in red. What this shows us, for example, 2006, 3.5%. That means at, in 2006, 3.5% of all vehicle sales were heavy trucks. There was a lot of need for them, a lot of shipping, a lot of construction. That fell down to below 1.5% during the 2008-9 recession. That did recover. And then we saw, again, three and a half, almost 4% of all vehicle sales are heavy trucks. But since then, we've failed to recover. We're below 3% now, and that's not good. Heavy truck sales as a percentage of total sales in red, the white line in this case, it's federal funds, interest rates, a very close relationship. During periods or prior to the Federal Reserve raising interest rates, of course, the sales of heavy trucks increased. Why wouldn't it? Low interest rate and a strong economy, which causes the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates, it correlated with a lot of sales of heavy trucks. Then, of course, the Federal Reserve has to cut rates. But before they cut rates, take a look at how this plummeted. The sales of heavy trucks as a percentage of all sales plummeted. Well, it did recover as the Federal Reserve started to raise rates again. But since then, in a period now of very high interest rates, what we see once again is a decline in the percentage of uh, total sales, of truck sales representing total sales. So the takeaway from this is that now we see a period of high interest rates, which is not really conducive for economic growth. We're seeing a decline in heavy truck sales. And again, on a millions of units basis, 
0.48. We have less than half a million units being produced, or I should say sold. And with that said, we see six months of declines. And typically, that is not associated with strong economic growth. Quite the contrary. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this data looks after the holiday shopping season, which is, you know, uses a lot of shipping services as well. We'll be sure to update you along the way with any significant changes. We hope this has been helpful. We look forward to seeing you back soon.